Hello, welcome back to my channel, Why Not Budget? My name is Lalina and today I will be doing my paycheck to paycheck budget for the uh, second check and final check of December. So if you are interested in watching me plan out this second paycheck to finish paying these freaking bills, feel free to stay tuned. So, I cannot believe we're almost done with 2018 it is upon us and well we have like two weeks we were at church today and when the pastor started talking about <laughs> Christmas next week I said huh Christmas when next week I had to pull out my phone to make sure that he was telling us the truth <laughs> because I just I, I don't know where the time has gone um but anyway, so across the top, I'm just going to write paycheck to paycheck budget, and then I'll place like December number two. Uh, and also, I know I told you guys that I was going to try to upload, what, three videos a week? I promise y'all that I recorded three videos last week. However, I'm not sure what's going on with my editing skills anymore because... I couldn't get the video to do anything for me. I couldn't get it to chop up the way I wanted to. And then uh, I'm recording now on using my Nikon camera instead of my cell phone. And I'm just having all type of issues <laughs> with getting it to focus and making sure that everything's clear. So bear with me while we, you know, get through this together as a family. So... I am going to just double check everything's recording correctly and then we'll get started. Okay, see, look, I had to come back through and fix it again. So I've zoomed in so that you guys can see everything as I prepare it. So um, I'm going to do my best attempt at doing a zero dollar budget Whew. with some projections. Um, so I'm not sure if I've mentioned to everyone, but I don't budget. So when I budget, when I'm doing a budget, I only budget in like my full paycheck and then the portion of my husband's check that he gives me two bills. So typically he only pays like his car note and the rent and then I get everything else, which is, I mean, I don't know. It works for us for right now. And so that's how we're going to continue doing it. Um, so I will place the projected income here at the the top so with my check and the portion that my husband will give me toward the bills for the follow up with the you know the remaining two weeks or whatever um it'll be 2100 so that's our starting so we're gonna try our best to get this down to zero to where we give every single dollar a name I'm gonna practice doing this because so many times I will start off wanting to do it that way but then by the end of the month or whatever like especially if I don't do cash envelopes which I haven't done cash envelopes in a very long time I don't end up sticking with everything so um first we'll get started and I will place our fixed expenses here and for December the only expense we have left that hasn't well we have two actually um, which is going to be our car insurance and the emergency fund we have to make sure that all of that is together before january comes can you guys see i'm just gonna try zooming in one more time so we have the fixed expenses car insurance and emergency fund and then i will go to our monthly debts that's left for this month so For monthly debts, we have remaining, let us take a look. We have, what do 
I have? <clears throat> we have the phone lease. And we have our student loan, which is so cool, I guess. So, I, my November payment for the student loan, I end up not having to pay it because we had so many storms in North Carolina. Um... We had so many storms. We had the hurricane and we turned around and we had um, the snowstorm, all of that, whatever. So my student loan company, Great Lakes, they actually sent us an email and was like, hey, because of all the disaster in your area, you know, you don't have to, we're waiving, you know, your balance for the month, blah, 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 blah. So your girl didn't have to pay a student loan payment for November. So I'm happy about that um, because even though we didn't have to like go and get a hotel room or anything like that we did end up spending a whole lot of money trying to get prepared for the storm so we were buying unnecessary foods and filling up on gas and all type of stuff so that we would make sure we were safe so yeah that was crazy but i'm so thankful that they were able to you know give us that little window and say you know what for all of y'all troubles just hey take a break so that was pretty dope i wish they would have did that with the rent as well that'd be awesome anyway so student loan uh credit card number four and we have my department store card that i wanted to go and get with my smart self and then i think that's it so this is for december so one other thing that we're going to okay. do now the last paycheck of the month for my husband, we're going to go ahead and pay January's rent. So I'm going to just start here and put, um, I'm going to skip some nines. You know what? I forgot to put total on some of this stuff. It's all good. So I'm just going to do January rent. And then we'll do cash envelope, and then we'll do total here. I'm going to pull out my handy dandy ruler, and we'll make some lines. So that we can make sure that we're budgeting this stuff out right. And I'll just start here and take it down to total. And that'll be for my budgeted category. And then this line, look, will be for the actual amount we spent. And then. I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to do the plus and minus because I I hardly ever even fill it out. Because I've seen it done so much. Like, I'm thinking, yeah, never mind. I'm not going to even get into it. I don't want to confuse anyone. I feel like I know how to do it. But I've seen it done multiple ways on across YouTube. And I don't want to confuse anybody. So, we'll just do budget in actual to make things out. Uh, easier for for the for the for the I can't even think the word I want to use so anyway alrighty so for car insurance we are budgeting um, $110 emergency fund we'll bring it to 300 so now for our monthly debts the phone lease we have 76 big ones for the student loan, we have 157 11 cents. Credit card four, we have $40. Department store. So, <clears throat> y'all, I really, I'm gonna pay. <laughs> I know this is not like the snowball method, but I really, really wanna pay. I'm pay a hundred. The minimum on here is only twenty seven dollars, but I really did some damage. So um we're gonna leave it there. 
and our January rent. So our January rent, we've already got received the bill. According to the bill, it's on the $816.07. But starting in January, we can no longer pay our rent with the money order. It has to be made online and they charge an extra 25 bucks to pay online. So the gag is my rent is going to be about 84107. I this is makes no sense to me whatsoever, but that's how they uh how they operate, which sucks because it's like since we moved here each month, if you go back and look at my rent uh other videos, you notice each month my rent go up. I'm sick of this. I can't handle it no more. I'm I'm tired. I'm done. So, what we're going to do now is just go through and add everything up to see where we are with this 2100. Here's my Cricut phone. <laughs> and we're just going to add up. So, we have 110, 300, 76. Like I'm getting updates from other YouTubers. And you guys getting all these updates from everybody um from everybody um posting today is really what motivating me to come on through with my videos for today so it's showing the total bills which seems a little off but i guess so it's showing my total here is $1,624.18 so, um, let's see, subtract it from the 2100 is 475.82. I have already gone through and written out some things I need, and I have a total of $400 going to cash envelopes because my house is empty. I need soap, I need tissue, I need paper towels, I need food, I need toothbrush, toothpaste, I, I need everything. So anyway, we got $400 going toward cash envelopes for the end of the month. And um, so that's gonna leave us with $75.82. So with that $75.82, Two. What should I do if I want to make a zero dollar budget? Okay, so I'm having a, a balance of seventy five eighty two, and so right now I'm trying my best to figure out what I should do with it. So should I just add it to the emergency fund, maybe? Shoot. Because we're trying to get it to equal out to zero. So with this extra 75 bucks, either I can put it in the emergency fund or I can do a sinking fund because it's almost time for me and my husband to get oil changes. And so if I just put it in a sinking fund, we can go and get our oil changed. So maybe we'll do that. So maybe with the $75, we'll place it down for car maintenance. So I'll do car maintenance for 75 because I think it's past time for my husband, but I know it's time for me. Um, so car maintenance, 75 82 And then that will total us all of these expenses will bring us to $2,100. Which I don't have a cash envelope for my car maintenance. And maybe I should create one. Or maybe that's considered a sinking fund. Either way, that's where the remaining $75.82 will go. So now, um, uh, so now I'm going to just go through and make sure that I did all of my calculations correctly. And to make sure that everything is actually going to total $2,100. Because I'm no mathematician. But... You know, I need to make sure I put the right numbers in on my calculator. 
So we are going to, um, let's see, just add it all up again. Boom, 20, 20, 2100. So hopefully we close this month off with a bang and we able to, we're able to tell our money where to go and we don't have to wonder where it went because we have to be intentional with our money. Okay, anyway, that's enough of that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little chit chat um, while I budget type deal. And I will be back later to make sure that we have all these numbers in. Well, I'm going to mark my word. I will come through this week with the cash envelope video. Mark my word. I'll be back. I promise. But until then, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and tap the red notification bell. Oh, no. Tap the subscribe button first, then you can tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any more videos. And I will talk to you later. Toodles!